Okay, just a few things I want to cover here and explain. Uh, the first thing is uh, you'll notice I'm running 1.9.38. Um, this version has uh, new Solus Wax resin support and um, it's a good idea to update your software every uh, month or two when there are updates available at least. So the first thing is just come to the edit menu and under the preferences just make sure uh, well firstly make sure that you're running the right uh, projector so you can select different projectors from this the settings in here most customers are running the Viftec 1186 series projector um, so select that and make sure you select the right uh, projector um, normally if you're not using the blue cable that uh, switches the projector off uh, I suggest you do you would have um, disabled projector serial interface uh, unchecked but the important thing is uh, you've got this update to beta versions checked okay make sure there's a tick in there that ensures that you're updating the latest uh, version of software so just click OK and then uh, if you go to help uh, normally you'll see an option down here that says update available and you can click on that and it will go and open up your browser and download the most recent version of Solus Contour software. You can force it to check for updates as well. I know in this case it's not a more recent version here. Um, once you've done that, um, you'll need to just uh, go to File and Exit and exit, close the software. Go to your Downloads folder most likely and click on the installer and run the installer to install the most recent version of the software. And then uh, obviously click the shortcut on your desktop and open up the software again. Uh, the other thing you may need to do is just come here under edit and actually it's under view sorry. Click on reset. Okay. Just click that once you open up the uh, update that you've installed. And in the case of um, your uh, resin profiles uh, obviously they manage it down here in the right hand side click on the little cog there to open that up and in here you can select various different resins that you might be using or available at least we've got profiles for so in the case of solar swax just select that resin profile and uh, come over to the exposure table where it says exposure just click there to open that up and this is where you'll enter the settings for the uh, resolution that you're printing at so uh, if you're running at uh, 25 microns that's the build area size here and you've got resin profiles for the different Z resolutions so 30 25 and 20 so just enter in the right values in this table you can just double click in there and enter the exposure value there uh, again, most customers in Australia are running at, uh, I think, probably about 2.2 exposure, uh, about 25 for the bottom exposure. So just uh, go and update those with the settings and uh, click OK. And then click OK. So in this version, your resin profile will display in the color of the resin. So if you were to choose a different resin profile here, let's say... Uh, B9 Emerald, click OK, you'll see your models will change to that resin colour, OK? I'll just change that back to the solar Swax again. The other important thing uh, with the solar Swax is that sometimes uh, the adhesion, especially with models that don't have too many supports, is not great. It's uh, You've got a high wax content, this resin, so one of the other new features added is in the support toolbar, if you come to manual supports, you'll see there's an option here to place a lattice. Uh, if you click on that, it'll create a thin lattice. It's about 0.5 mm thick, and uh, it just ensures good adhesion on the print head. So it will stop your models from uh, falling off during the print uh, and ensure that uh, there's good adhesion there. So with the Solus Wax resin, we do recommend that you have that lattice support in place. So that's it. Basically, you can then run the print wizard and uh, run some prints. All right, that's all I wanted to cover. I hope that helps.
Bye for now.